A few days ago I made a video called Burkow Heads for the Exit, link below. I pointed out that the Tories would be foolish to try and unseat him on the issue of the statement with regard to President Trump and the proposed state visit. But Tories being Tories, you can always find a mad one. Step forward, James Dudridge, link below who is unsurprisingly an Essex MP, to table a motion of no confidence in the Speaker. Link below. Last year, Parliament held one of the silliest debates in its history in a committee room on whether to ban Donald Trump from the country. Link below. On February the 20th this year, because of a petition, the sooner those petition nonsense is scrapped, the better, a debate will be held in Westminster Hall, link below, as to whether the proposed state visit should go ahead. And now, Mr. Dudridge proposes to hold a debate on getting rid of the Speaker, this time in the Commons Chamber, that will inevitably be yet another debate on Donald Trump. In case you haven't noticed the subtlety of what I have said, the government, to lessen the embarrassment caused by the mad obsessions of the anti-Trump brigade, has gone to great lengths to keep them out of the Commons Chamber. Mr. Dudridge, due to his mad obsession with John Burkow, intends to invite them in. Not only does he intend to do that, but he intends to hand the opposition parties a victory. According to the Daily Telegraph, link below, up to 150 Tory MPs will support the motion which means 150 Tory MPs will not support the motion. And guess what happens next? That's right. Newspaper stories about splits in the Conservative Party and stories about how the Labour Party have found an issue to unite around with the SNP making hay and the tedious Caroline Lucas repeating endlessly the memes of fake news on which so much of the criticism of Trump is based. And thus we go into a crucial period of Brexit negotiation, the French and German elections, debate of the Great Repeal Bill, possible debate on Lord's reforms, and any number of potential wars with Speaker Burkow firmly in the chair. No doubt saying with a tear in his eye that for the sake of Parliament he will not abide by his promise to stand down after nine years, which comes to an end at the end of this year, all to the waving order papers of the Labour Party and the SNP. As a further clue to the politics of this, Sky had Philip Buttar, link below, interview Mr. Dudridge, and of course Mr. Dudridge squirmed under the inevitable questions about race and equality and the usual mood music. At which point it is useful to consider Tom Goodenough's piece in the Spectator, link below, which references the Times, which is behind a paywall, that Burkow's banning of Donald Trump from addressing Parliament was all the more strange because no invitation had been offered or asked for. The point of order was raised by Stephen Dirty, link below, who is a Labour co-op. MP. Mr. Dirty used to work for Oxfam, World Vision and is sponsored by the GMB Union. Now, rather than dig around in the Gateway Protection Programme 
and the funding of various NGOs, let us move on to Nigel Farage. Nazi scam! Who used his LBC phone, phone-in show, link below, to propose an interesting theory about Mr Burkow. To wit, that he is going to stand down and take up a lucrative job arranged for him by Tony Blair as part of the Focus Project, link below. The theory has some credence, particularly when you consider the circumstances of Mr Dirty's resignation from the Shadow Cabinet in 2016. According to that fountain of politically correct knowledge, Wikipedia, link below, Dirty's appearance on the Daily Politics became contentious after it emerged that Laura Koonsberg, the BBC political editor, had arranged for Dirty to make his public announcement on the programme just before Prime Minister's questions. According to Labour's spokesman, it is an unacceptable breach of the BBC's role and statutory obligations. By the BBC's own account, BBC journalists and presenters proposed and secured the resignation of a shadow minister on air, apparently to ensure maximum news and political impact. The Labour Party's Director of Communications, Seamus Milne, made a formal complaint to the BBC. So, given Mr Dirty's love of amateur theatricals and Mr Burkow's thespian tendencies, it would not be, on, be beyond the realm of possibilities that this Trump affair was entirely staged to embarrass the government. It certainly fits the mould of the focus operation, coming as it does on the heels of the dodgy Christopher Steele dossier and the resignations in Copeland and Stoke-on-Trent. Plus, you have one of the other plotters, Richard Branson, constantly in the news at the moment, larking it up on his private island with Obama and that kid from One Direction. Link below. But regardless... Please, oh please, for the love of God, someone put Mr. Dudridge back in his box.